So now that shelter's out of the way, we needed to concentrate on finding food. And what a better place than Fiddler and Company to experience some upscale rustic cuisine. Drawing from the vast farmland of Adams County, this place loves to cook and cook the things they love. Located just outside the city limits, Fiddler and Company is a must stop when visiting Gettysburg. And that's where Brian caught up with Josh, the owner of Fiddler and Company. All right, Josh. We're back here in the kitchen. What do we have? Oh, uh, well, right now we're working on balling up our pizza doughs for our brick oven pizza. We let it do like a slow ferment over about 24 hours. And this is Eli. And what are you doing here? Just weighing out the dough here. The next step is this goes in, ferments overnight. Okay. We have doughs that we made yesterday. That's so fantastic. We'll, we'll, it's uh, amazing how television does that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make my own pizza here. Which starts by placing the dough in the flour. After working it several times in a circular motion, I was feeling pretty confident. Now, I gotta ask you, I'm looking through the window, I see a hot chick. I wanna impress her. And you gotta throw it. All right, you ready? Go for it. Yo! Is that how you do it? That was all right. All right, so now we've got, got our pizzas ready. Yes. Um, you're gonna lightly pick it up and put it on your peel. Okay. We're gonna start with just with some cheddar. Okay. Now we're gonna grab some of our local apples here. Grab some bacon. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put mine in first. Of course, Josh. You own the place. All right, and yours was a circle and mine was a semi-square. <laughs> so we gave the pizzas a few spinny spins, and then I dove in. Mm. It was so worth it. I'd like to save you a spot, but I think this is mine. All right. After I chowed down a bit, Josh wanted to show me one of Fiddler and Company's main attractions, the octopus. I've never had an octopus. Sounds scary. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to begin. We're gonna start with a uh, fingerling potato that's been already cooked, but we're gonna slice it thin. We're gonna put it in the fryer. When do I know they're ready? Two or three minutes, minutes. to get some crisp on the outside because they've already been cooked off, so they're okay. soft on the inside. I remember when I worked at Roy Rogers and I would hit the button and it would tell me, it would go ding. That's when I knew they were ready. Uh, this is a part of the show where I like to say some awkward silence comes into play <laughs> when you're just waiting for that. How long did it take you to grow the beard? This has been uh, almost a year now. You ever tempted to shave it off? Uh, no. <laughs> Chicks dig it. Yeah. They do? Here comes my beard. <laughs> With the potatoes in the fryer and a few tips from the ladies, man, I hopped back to Josh so we could grill up the octopus. We're going to season a little kosher salt. We do a little smoked paprika. It's been marinated, sriracha, lime, cilantro, and olive oil. So we're gonna hit the grill with it. We're just looking to get a nice little char on this thing. So some nice grill marks there. Uh, turn it up kind of on its tentacles. Yes. It's good to go. All right. So we're gonna go back over here now to our cutting board. So Josh laid down a base of chimichurri, bit of charred corn salsa, added our potatoes from the fryer, sliced up the octopus, and finished it off with a garnish of frisee, fresh cilantro leaves, terrazzo oil, and a dash of paprika. Well, here goes nothing. I just cut a little piece of octopus yeah. there. Um, it really is meaty. Yeah, just go for it. Mm. You know, I'm trying to trying to pinpoint the taste because immediately when I'm thinking lobster, I'm thinking crab. You know, I'm thinking those kinds of things, but it's really not. It's, it's more of a um, softer tasting fish, I would say. Yeah, like and swordfish you, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, it's delicious. You are producing some fantastic stuff. Josh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Us. All right.